system. Tell us about it. Well, yeah, things are going up in price even as we have uh, less electricity being used in North Carolina. We just had uh, uh, Duke Power's uh, stock prices just went up because even though we've had having a mild uh, summer there, their, um, uh, their, their actual profits went up because they're charging people more. And what they've had happen is um, the, uh, uh, they, they had two of the largest utility companies in the country merged in July. And so now they've got the largest public utility company in the, in the country. And one of the things that was a condition was that they've got a very, Duke Power has a very controversial CEO who uh, has been very involved in politics. He gave a $10 million line of credit to the Democrats for their national convention in Charlotte. And uh, so it was a condition that he was not going to be the uh, head of the new, um, the new merged uh, uh, entity. And after 20 minutes, uh, he fired the other guy, Johnson, who was head of Progress Energy. And uh, they kind of you know, uh, put in a coup there. And the guy got paid $44 million for 20 minutes of work plus a $10 million severance pay. And that's that's the kind of things that we're seeing in our, our power, you know, that's coming through there. We've also Yeah, because who wants to compete and, and and try to give more power to America? China can have three new plants a week, we can have none a year, shut down hundreds. I mean it's it's again, it's it's bank robbery by another means. Shut down the other power plants, charge more for yours. It's very simple. Right. Yeah, they're shutting down a third of the coal power plants. And a lot of them that were scheduled to shut down next year, they're accelerating that. So they're going to be shut down as of October the 1st. Hope everyone enjoys it. Yeah, yeah. And what they're doing is they say they're going to replace the capacity, but they're replacing it with very expensive kind of uh, boutique power schemes. Scams. Right? Little, exactly. Little payoffs to the locals. You know, the uh, mayor's cousin gets to have a biofuel thing. It's really a wood-burning system. Well, you've got one of the most profitable com country, uh, companies in the country, uh, Apple Computer, was paid a huge subsidy to relocate their server farm to North Carolina. And now they're, they're going to create the largest fuel cell, private fuel cell, well, it's the largest uh, public or private uh, energy production. Now, they're going to sell that back into the grid. And so the tax, the rate payers are going to be paying for that. They make you pay for their super expensive energy and make you pay with tax money to build it. Right. right. I mean, Al Gore, what a piece of trash. Yeah. It, well, it's green PR for Apple. They look good because they're doing this new. Meanwhile, they have to put suicide nets up around their factories because they're the most greedy company in China. Right. Right. Just absolute murdering criminals. Well, what's driving all this is renewable energy mandates. And it's something that 30 states have. And it says they've got to have a certain percentage of their power produced by renewable sources. Okay, so it'll be things like uh, wind farms and solar and that sort of thing. But those power sources aren't there for the grid. In other words, if you want to use uh, solar... Well, they bankrupted Spain. Yeah, yeah, exactly. If you want to use solar, you know, for your own purpose or, or wind power, that's fine. It's going to be a little bit more expensive, but you're off the grid and you've got a way to back... And you don't lose power transmitting at far distances. Right, right, exactly. I, I did a video for American Tradition Institute and... Uh, in that, we showed how when they when they use it in the grid, it's going to fluctuate just like you got a car in traffic. Okay, so they're going to have to they're going to have to uh, back it up with a coal power plant, and that coal power plant is going to be going up and down. And uh, it's just like uh, you know you use more fuel if you're going you know, you're starting and stopping in traffic. The same thing happens with a with a power. And it's not just that it doesn't work good; they know that it's a seizure of power, and the right. cover is all this cobbled together junk. Right, right. It's a veneer. It, it looks good that they've got that, but they can't actually produce effective power with it. Even in Ireland, they, they thought if they spread the wind farms out over a larger area that it would kind of, you know... Well, they're uh, giant, ugly eyesores that kill the birds, yeah. and they don't work, yeah. and yeah. the amount of energy going into building them is a giant ripoff. It, it's just about these control freaks running everything. Right, but even when they spread the wind farm out of the whole coast of uh, Ireland, they still couldn't get steady state output. All they got was higher peaks and, and deeper troughs. You know? But Ceausescu in Romania, it turned out he could have had power for the country, but he enjoyed having his own private city palace, always having light and no one else having it. It's like North Korea. This is a tool of control. Yeah. In fact, yeah. they say in Austin, the government district will always have power, but they say get used to power outages. Yeah. This is just the way it is. <laughs> well, it's part of the Agenda 21 thing because, you know, the the economy is, as well as life expectancy, is really based on the supply of cheap, affordable energy. And our life expectancy is going down. Mission yeah. accomplished. Yeah. And if they take that away, that's uh, that, that's really going to destroy everything. Well, run over those notes you've got. You're an expert on this. Well, basically, I was just going to say, you know, it, Rogers has been, uh, you know, he gave this line of credit to uh, to the Democrats for their convention. 
and uh, you know made it, made a big point of the fact that it wasn't actually donated by uh, Duke Power, but you know the line of credit is going to them as this merger is being put through, right? And uh, and he's also one of the biggest proponents of uh, carbon credits, you know, cap and trade and that sort of thing. So he knows that he's going to make a lot of money out of that. And uh, you know, it's a uh, it's really a scam. And they lie and, and and say we've got to get rid of the carbon because uh, explain people the new coal plants. Nothing comes out. They have aircraft that fly, but they have sensors on them. They get huge fines if anything comes out, like sulfur. All that's coming out after the scrubbers is water vapor and carbon dioxide. They know that. It's good for the environment. Right. And they've got these idiots dancing around saying, boost my power prices. Austerity is good for the earth. Yeah, yeah. Well, in, in, in this area, Progress Energy, which has now been subsumed into Duke, uh, they're one of the largest, if not the largest, uh, running nuclear power. So they're they're going to a lot of nuclear. And we've got a nuclear power plant not too far from where we live. And you see the uh, smoke plume going up. And it is just water vapor. But, you know, hopefully it's just water vapor. Hopefully there's nothing else in there. But, you know, after looking at Fukushima and looking at the the cost down the road of decommissioning these plants, because they can only run for a couple of decades, and then they got to decommission them. And you got to store that stuff. But they don't now. They just keep running until they rot and blow up. Right, right. And so, you know, you've got that that safety issue now that we've seen, and we're all aware of now after Fukushima. And then yeah, we've got to have radiation because carbon dioxide plants breathe is evil because Al Gore the pig uh, runs a company with Obama and the Rothschilds where you've got to pay him money for it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, there's not any there's not any global warming that's going on. And if you look at the uh, uh, the uh, climate gate reports, I mean, there was like a thousand emails leaked. And then uh, just last year, there was another five thousand leaked. And these guys are conspiring to tell people lies. You know, it's very clear. What well, they do stuff like stick thermometers. They got caught on tarmacs and, and the street or rooftops where it's 10 degrees higher. Yeah, exactly. What they've done to put these, you know, Apple has put in the, um, this gigantic solar power area. And they're also going to put in this fuel cell area. And they have slashed and burned tremendous amounts of forest, you know, to put this in. So, oh, well, there's nothing hogging more power than those servers. Yeah. I said we yeah. put a tax on them. <laughs> right, right, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. so over some more of your notes, I mean, I'm ranting here. This is just incredible to have our mayor in Austin say, you're not going to have a referendum, and we're going to shut down the third city-owned power plant, and yeah, it's going to increase your prices again. Suck on it. And just annihilate people on fixed incomes. My grandmother, half the time I go over there, has the windows open. It's 100 degrees inside, and uh, she won't do it because the power bill's too high. Yeah, yeah. Well, one of the things that, that they're, they're pushing, even more so than uh, carbon dioxide and, and reducing greenhouse gases, one of the most effective things that they've had is uh, to measure particulate matter. And uh, they just had an experiment in um, real close to where we live in uh, Chapel Hill, UNC. And what they did was they did, they did tests on human beings, exposing them to stuff. Now, you've had the director of the EPA, Lisa Jackson, uh, testified before Congress and said that particulate matter is responsible for killing as many people as cancer. And that's ridiculous. That's just a bold-faced lie, okay? But they clearly don't believe it, or if they do, they're acting like Nazi doctors because what they did was they took at least 40 people and they exposed them to levels that were anywhere from 25 to 70 times what they said were safe levels. You don't experiment on people like that. It's okay. illegal. Yeah, you don't experiment. It's, it, it violates ethical codes. But expanding, so, they've put out in Texas... Because the main jet stream that comes out of China dumps right over Texas for whatever reason. There's no controls on those. It's Chinese particulate, but then they blame locals for the toxic waste dumping in on us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. and you don't ever hear Al Gore telling China to clean up their power plants. That's right. That's right. Yeah. It's, it's a, it's a, and clearly, you know, this, this all came in, this, this stuff about the EPA experiments, that all came in about the time, you remember about, about a year ago, they were talking about uh, regulating the dust on farms. You know, hay dust. Got, yeah, everybody got upset about that. And then the EPA, enough people kicked back on it that the EPA said, no, 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 we never intended to regulate dust on farms. But at the same time, they were trying to find, they, they were working really hard. They had one person who uh, already had a, a physical congenital problem with her heart, and she had a, an issue. She had an episode. And so they wrote a paper on that. A fellow named uh, Steve Malloy, who has a, a, a website called junkscience.com, he noticed that. And he started digging and, and running uh, freedom of information uh, requests on it. And he found out that there were 41 people that they'd actually done that with. And he thinks it may be as many as 150, but he's having to try to pull that information out. Yeah, we need to, you need to get a hold of him and do a report on that for InfoWars Nightly News. Let's come back and 
talk about some other facets of this and how much the power prices are getting ready to go up as the globalists choke the American people. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are breaking down the takeover of our society. We're going to have open phones in the second hour uh, that's coming up. Holland van der Neuenhoff dealing with false flag terror attacks. And this current Justice Department is going to be joining us as well. And we'll have open phones then in the third hour today. I will get more into what IRS whistleblowers are telling me uh, coming up. But going back to David Knight. David, you know, I mean, people talk about how the globalists want to destroy free societies. They want to bankrupt people. Uh, I mean, clearly, that's what's happening here right now. I, I mean, I, we have seen the power double in the last 10 years since they shut down two of the city-run plants. Now they're shutting down the third, and they just say that's the way it is. And this is all over the country this is happening. And there's nothing coming out of them, but they show school kids, look at the dirty smoke, and it's water vapor. And... But then they tell them reactors are good, and it's literally just a giant ripoff. They say they don't want us to have energy. They say we're, we have too much industry because the globalists have all invested in China. They know they're just making their investment go up. See, because they control the society, they make profits when they shut us down. Plus, we've been a free society. They want to bring us to our knees. Well, if you look at where these renewable energy mandates are and the 30 states where they have them, where they've been in place for a while, the electricity is about double what it is in places that don't have those mandates. And the problem is, is that, you know, people look at wind power and they think, oh, wind, that's clean and free. It's, I mean, you're just, you're just capturing it, right? Well, you know, coal is free, but you got to get it out of the ground. You got to build a plant to process it, you know, and, and you got to be able to distribute it. Same thing is true of wind. You've got to have a way to harness that. And the, the wind turbines are very expensive. They don't last forever. You know, they wear out fairly quickly. So, you know, there, there is a huge expense. And actually, it's, it's more expensive than coal is to do or some of the fossil fuels. But again, it, so it really goes back to this agenda with the uh, uh, carbon credits and the uh, CO2 gases is what they're, they're selling, you know, the global warming. Well, also, I hear people go, oh, you must work for the oil companies, Alex. No, no, no. A lot of the big oil companies don't like coal because they compete with it. And coal is broken up into a bunch of companies. Right. It's not a big monopoly. That's why it's so cheap. It's right. everywhere. They all want it shut down. The system wants it shut down because it has powered the Industrial Revolution. They take the coke that's left after the coal's burned. They put it into the steel. I mean, it is a magic thing, and we've got enough to run this country. I've seen statistics of thousands of years. I mean, how much of this oh, stuff yeah. is Well, there? there's more coal here than there is in the in oil in the Middle East, and that's not even, even including things like the oil shell, which is uh, uh, the, the fields up in Canada that they're trying Remember to— Remember Clinton blocking the clean-burning coal in the late 90s, that one big deposit in Utah? The only other deposit was in China? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, you know, they talk about how this, this uh, uh, coal that they're trying to get from the fields in— um, in Canada, through the uh, the XL, the Keystone XL project, you know they're trying to get approval to run a pipeline down the refineries. Now, if they don't do it, that stuff is still going to be sold to China. So, if we don't refine it in America and make American jobs, it's still going to go to China. Chinese, because everything there is is controlled by the government, they're not nearly as concerned about doing things cleanly as we are here in the U.S. Right. So, uh, either way, it's going to, you know, if, if they say it's going to cut down global warming, it's not going to, you know, it's not going to cut down. They have warming. major rivers catch on fire. But again, it's, it's, it's not even about the environment. It is a cold blooded takeover. Oh, exactly. What are these average environmentalists going to think as they see their power prices go up and up? <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, a lot of them are real, uh, Real earth firsters, you know, real Luddites. You know, they, they want to see everything go down. They want to see uh, population reduction. They, they want to see us go back to a, a pre-industrial society. That's really part of the Agenda 21 agenda. You know, it's yeah, until they grow up and then try to have their firstborn and the child dies because mommy's been taking vaccines. Then when the death hits your doorstep, you'll wish you'd have stood up. Alex Jones. We have got a big hour lined up for you. Occupier charged with terroristic felony for protesting in front of the bank. Joker case gagged. Media fight Colorado court ban. Well, yeah, you can't see the drugged up mind control, Patsy. 